Welcome to Papa's Workshop. As many of you know, I've been doing quite a bit of gardening this year, both outdoors and indoors. And today I have a new grow light that I'm going to be adding to my garden inside the house. And I can't wait to be able to show it to you. When I open up the box, I have the user manual for the lights itself. Now this is a 150 watt grow light. Now these can be linked together. I have one, but you can link up to four of them together. You also have the user manual for the Wi-Fi and the app controls. Yes, that's right. You can download the app and you can control everything with your cell phone. Not only can you turn it off and on, but you can control the intensity and how long it stays on and off. Now this is a full spectrum light, similar to the sun. There is a safety notice that you need to be able to read and you need to be able to tear out this film before you use it. Also, it tells you how to be able to connect to Wi-Fi. We'll get into that more later. It's important to be able to connect to Wi-Fi before you start operating this light. And the dimming function is only available through the app. If you don't do that, all you can do is turn it off and on. This is everything that comes in the box. Of course, you're gonna get the light, the cord, and then you have the cables to be able to hang this. What I like is the pulleys that you can raise and lower this light over your plants, and that's very important. One of the things that if you don't have the ability to raise and lower the light, you can get some tall, lanky plants that's really not that great. This is an example of some okra plants that I put in the ground just a couple of weeks ago, and you can see how large these stems are. And that's because the light was fixed and really too far away. Well, this grow light is going to be able to solve that problem. In this area, I had the light much, much closer to these strawberry plants. Mm. I actually had to raise up the plants onto these cups to get them closer to the light. And that certainly helped because these were starting out to be long and lanky also. And I just didn't want that. So having the pulley and the cables where I can raise and lower the light is going to be a far better solution. Because I really don't want long, lanky strawberries or... I certainly don't really need the long, lanky okra plants. Now these lights have the ability to put them together in different configurations. You can put one on each side or you can make a bank of four of them. They have the plugs right here so that you can just simply unplug it and plug the other cord into it. And you have another one right down here where you have this connector to be able to plug in the various uh, lights. I like the fact that you have these covers on it. That makes it where it's waterproof. But because with the garden, you're gonna get water. Currently, I only have the one light. And I wanna make the best use of this that I possibly can. So I'm gonna go and get this hung up and show you how these pulleys work and how I can raise and lower the light have the two hooks into the ceiling and I have the little pulleys attached to my hooks to be able to release this. All you need to do is just raise that up and then you can pull it down. To be able to raise the light up and down, just simply pull and it will ratchet up one click at a time. Now well, let's go ahead and release this one. We'll pull it down and we'll hook up the light. At the light itself, you have the other cables that connect to each side of the light, and then the end of it will just click onto this hook. And you have two sets there. So if we grab the other one, pull it down just long enough, and we just clip it into the uh, little snap link. Having the snap links on each end makes being able to adjust this very, very easily. So I absolutely love this. I've got the tension now equal where both of these cords are the same. So now I'm going to raise it up. So I now have the light actually installed. I'll take the excess cord and set it over to the side where I can adjust it as I need to with the uh, growth of the plants. So you can see the installation is extremely easy to be able to do. I plugged in the light, turned it on, and you can see it is very bright. 
The next step is to go ahead and hook up the Wi-Fi and get this light so that I can actually dim and control the amount of light that it puts out. It's time to add the Wi-Fi and I want to also add the app to my phone. The easiest way to do it is just scan this QR code and that will bring you right to their website and I'll be able to download the app on my phone. There are some specific instructions that you need to be able to follow. This supports the 2.4 gigabyte um, Wi-Fi network. It is not supported by the 5G. You're required to have the iOS on your Apple device at 9.0 or later. And if you're using the Android, you're going to need the 5.0 or later. To be able to set up the app on the phone, it's very, very simple. All I want you to be able to do is just take this guide and follow it step by step. It's very, very easy. It does require downloading the app. And I just showed you, just scan the QR code and that brings you directly to the App Store and you can download the app. From there, follow the instructions and you'll be able to get the verification code once you create the account and just follow step by step. It is very, very easy. Now, because there's all the different passwords and things that need to be entered, no, I'm not going to show you that on the camera. But if you do follow this guide step by step, it will be extremely easy. Now that the app is on my phone, let me turn it on and show you how these lights will operate using your iPhone and this app. I went ahead and put my long, lanky okra plants in here. Hopefully with this light, it'll start to be able to leaf out more and start producing and growing like it really should. Because remember, these were under just regular LED lights and they were not grow lights. So to be able to set this up, let's go to the app. I also need to increase the brightness on my phone or you're not gonna be able to see it in the camera. And this is what the light app is gonna look like. And I'm just gonna turn it on and I'll just increase the light. And that is just how easy it is. Now I'm gonna put this at about 60% because this is some new vegetation. The distance needs to be on new growth about 18 to 24 inches and this is just about 18 inches from the table it's about 24 inches. The time that this should be growing is about 18 hours a day and you can actually set up a schedule to be able to have this turn off and on which I think is absolutely fantastic. Now, I haven't set the schedule up yet, but literally, if I tap the schedule, all I need to do is just hit Add, and I can put in the Start and Stop Times. Now, this Grow Planner Zero Series LED Grow Light is 150 watt, and it features a full spectrum similar to the sun, which is a truly highly efficient uh, lighting system that will take you from the seedling all the way to harvest. This is an ideal choice for both the hobbyists and the commercial growers alike. This actually services an area of about two and a half feet by two and a half feet. For my application right now, this is perfect. Later on, I may want to add some additional lights to be able to continue to grow. The next step is I want to see how these grow and deal with the light, and I'm going to start some additional vegetables. Now the first few days while I'm germinating, they don't need to be under the light. When they're under the ground in that seed, don't need the light. But as soon as those seedlings poke their head above the uh, dirt, it's time to get them under the light. Can't wait to see that happen. I want to set up the schedule and we'll add a new timer. Right now it's 4.59 p.m. We'll set this for 7 a.m. to be able to turn this on. And as far as turning this off, I'm going to set this right now just for 9 p.m. at night. That will be the off. This is going to be able to repeat. For every day I don't need a notification 
I will save it. So now it will turn off at 9 p.m. tonight. I'm going to put a link in the description below so that if you want to take a look at this light just a little bit closer and see if you want to add it to your garden, you'll be able to do so. To be able to see just how effective this light is going to be, this is a project that's going to take several weeks to be able to fully accomplish because I need to build a plant, some new vegetables, and watch them grow. So I will be updating this video over the next few weeks as I plant the vegetables and we watch them grow together. So please, if you'd like to be able to follow along, this is the time to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified on the different videos. I think it's gonna be a very interesting little experiment to see how these plants go from seed all the way to actually growing, and then I can move them outside into the garden. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video that I do, and I wanna take this opportunity to thank all of the viewers who are watching this video, and I wanna be able to take a special opportunity to say thank you to my Patreons. Your support to be able to help this channel grow and continue to do these types of videos is just amazing and I appreciate it very much. Without you guys watching this video and all the viewers, whether you've subscribed or not, it does make a difference. I hope that you subscribe. But without you, this channel wouldn't exist. So again, thank you so much for supporting this channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.